today's video is going to be on the 129 grain .264 Hornady Inner Bonds shot out of a 6.5 Creedmoor. Go check out SubMOAShooting.com. They sell little sample packs. Might be able to save yourself some money in load development. First shot will be a reduced load simulating long range. And I'll flip my blocks and do a full high velocity load. Obviously didn't catch that high velocity load, or the, sorry, low velocity load, but you can see, definitely opened up. There's a red tip, a few lead fragments, decent spiral, then it kind of spiraled again there, given decent permal wound cavity. I'm not sure why there's nothing in there, but for a low velocity, that's not terrible performance, and that one was traveling. 1,749 feet per second. Can't really complain with that performance. But, should have set a couple more milk jugs up there. that beard kind of, I'm going to try to hit a little off center to the left of a high velocity load so I hopefully don't disturb that other in there be too bad. Not sure why I flipped that block just to flip it again, but get back going in the right direction there. Me a second to find where my board and piece of leather flew off to. Definitely did a pretty good job shooting through that block. That one impacted the gel right around 2,900 feet per second. So they definitely hold together just fine at the higher velocity. And it definitely opened up and mushroomed and at that lower velocity. I'm going to go ahead and do my measurements here rather than doing a second video. 
leading edge of that bullet is roughly 29 and a quarter inches of total penetration. The massive portion of that uh, permanent wound cavity starts almost instantly, carrying to the 10 inch mark, tapers down smaller, going to about the 15 inch mark, and then it pin lines to where it rested. On that lower velocity load, you had it start to open up. About three quarters of an inch. Decent permanent wound cavity carrying out to the 11 and a half inch mark. And then it pin lines for a little bit and then looks like it starts giving good permanent wound cavity again from the 18 inch mark to the 30 inch mark. On that uh, low velocity load, that larger portion of that permanent wound cavity healthy inch and five eighths. I'm going to try to just reach in through here and dig that bolt out. And for hitting the gel at that high velocity, that is not bad mushroom. I've had other bonded bullets that don't even hold together that good, so. Well, not bad at all. That uh, larger section of that high velocity permanent wound cavity is three and seven eighths. part too but really don't think I need to. I think you can see that just fine. That is one overall decent performance bullet.